Hi, these comments are for JYP. This is Michael from Better TOEFL Scores and OnlineTOEFLCourse.com. And I just listened to your pronunciation pretest uh, over at my online course, a seven step system. So you, you went over part A and you read the pairs of words in, this, in the uh, different uh, lessons there. And then you answered the three personal experience questions. So you talked about your educational background is you have an education in early childhood education. Uh, it's important for you to improve your speaking and pronunciation because you want to be able to speak clearly when you're speaking English or teaching children. And then you also talked about you want to improve your speaking and writing scores as what you hope to achieve in this course. Now, my only concern speaking, speaking wise, is when you when you answered each of these questions, you didn't really elaborate. You didn't speak for say 30 or 40 or uh, 50 seconds for each one. You just kind of answered in a single sentence. So be careful with the TOEFL that you take time to provide details for your ideas. This is very important. In fact, I have a specific lesson that can help you learn the kinds of details that you want to try to generate for speaking and writing. So if you go over to bettertoefelscores.com right, and you go into the search box, type in these keywords Lax TOEFL Speaking Elaboration, type in those key ideas and then check out this lesson. This is a good start for you to help you with your speaking. So the lesson will, will tell you a little bit about how to create concrete details to help support your generalizations. Okay, so the main thing is, is when you went through part A, <laughs> the good news is you didn't have a lot of problems here. In fact, there's only four main lessons I want you to review so that... <laughs> That means that your pronunciation is already pretty clear. So you need to review lesson number eight, especially the ah, pot, mop, talk, on, mock. So you could improve that second sound. Uh, lesson number 13, I think the CH and the SH sound, especially in the middle of the words like feature, fisher. Lesson number 16, this is probably the most difficult one for you, is differentiating between these two palatal consonants. Major, measure. Fragile, Fraser, Legend, lesion. Engine, azure. Large, asia. So go through that 10-minute pronunciation lesson to learn how to pronounce those sounds more clearly. And the last lesson is the interdental voiced and voiceless fricative consonants, the TH. For example, thigh, thy, breath, breathe, teeth, teeth, through, though, worth, worthy. So I think that's a good one too. So in short, you should be reviewing Lesson number 8, 13, 16, and 24. Those are the most important pronunciation lessons that you should be focused on right now. All right, so what do you do next? Is start going through those lessons. And if you want feedback on any of those lessons, at the end of the lesson, there's a voice recording exercise. And you can send me 60 seconds of that uh, for pronunciation practice, you can email it to me and I will give you some feedback to let you know whether or not you've mastered the sounds in that lesson. In addition, you should begin sending me speaking uh, practice tests. So my main rule to just so I don't get too busy and based on the price you're paying is uh, you can send me 60 seconds of speaking or 60 seconds of pronunciation practice every 24 hours while you're uh, enrolled in my course. All right, and I feel good about it. I think that you don't have some serious pronunciation problems, so that's a good sign. Uh, and once you send me four or five speaking practice tests, I will have more of an idea of what your strengths and weaknesses are when it comes to speaking. And happy holidays to you. Have a very Merry Christmas.
and a happy new year.